July 29th, 10.02 a.m. Um, I have no idea what I want to talk about. I've been looking at flights recently. I've been wanting to travel. Again, now that <clears throat> I'm double vaxxed, me and the rest of the billions of people in the world, I'm sure it all feel the same way. Um, anyways, yeah, I was thinking of like, maybe traveling during the winter time for a month. Um, I might go back to, I was thinking of going back to Aotearoa, New Zealand. Um, every time I've been there, it's been during our summer, which is their winter. <clears throat> so every time, I've, the last few times I've gone, it's been pretty cold there. It's not pretty cold, but it does drop in the evenings. Anyways, I would like to experience New Zealand summer, which is during our winter. So anyways, I was looking at flights, and the last two times I've gone, I've only made it to the North Island, and uh, this time I would like to actually spend a few weeks uh, in the South Island and actually get a view of some of the mountains out there, and maybe um, connect with some new friends out there. That's about it. I don't know. I've been trying to think about what's going on um, with the camp. We're probably going to be set up until the end of September or sometime in October. Um, then I got to think about like what's next for Sean. What is, what am I doing uh, once the camp is retired? Because I'm going to need some work soon. <clears throat> These positions with the anti-racism teams are being posted soon. Uh, the Indigenous Advisor and the Anti-Racism Advisor positions. <clears throat> I'm going to apply for them, the ones with Kitchener anyways. I'm not too big on applying for the ones with Waterloo since they've kind of been screwing me over. Um, yeah, long story short. So we, when we set up camp, Kitchener was already working on these positions. Um, so we actually just helped bring them forward. But we actually pressured Waterloo to create these positions as well too. So they miraculously, miraculously came up with these positions in a matter of weeks. <clears throat> and we provided a lot of input as to what those positions should look like. Um, I'm going on three minutes now. Anyways, uh, after the camp was taken down for the winter, they still asked for my feedback on the director position. Um, but then never gave me an interview for the director position. So that was a nice slap in the face. Um, then they call me, giving me some excuse as to why they didn't give me an interview. <clears throat> and I'm like, you know what? I don't really care if I met, I didn't meet all your five stars. It's the courtesy of actually just giving me the interview because the amount of work that I put into helping create these positions. So lo and behold, I get an email this week asking for my feedback on the rest of the team positions. So, yeah, just another slap in the face. And it's really just a sign that I really would never want to work for the city of Waterloo. Um, anyways, on that note, I will keep you posted on if I'm going to make trouble plans this winter.